Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Taylor. I'm really excited to be filming this video for you. It's going to be my Stephen King book collection. Little backstory before we hop into my book collection. Um, I have been a constant reader for a very long time. I think my first Stephen King book that I picked up was in middle school, which, you know, may or may not be a little too young for some of the stuff in his books. And I have been a constant reader for a really long time and have read most of his books at this point in time. Um, I don't really have the most extensive collection for a couple of reasons. Reasons. Number one, I was in college for a while, didn't have space for my own bookshelf, so I've only really been able to build up my book collection for the past two years. And then secondly, other than like the books that came out from like 2018 on, I have been getting all of my books secondhand and vintage. I just think there's something really cool about the older covers. Nothing against like the repackages of the editions of these books, but I do tend to think that the original covers just look a whole lot neater, especially for some of the older works. So this is my 2020 edition of my Stephen King book collection, hopefully next year. Um, there'll be a whole lot more books here, but yeah, let's just get into the video. Right now, my whole Stephen King book collection fits sort of nicely on two shelves. If I get uh, more books, they're gonna have to go somewhere else, but for now, I can kind of squish them all into two shelves. We'll go ahead, start with the first shelf, and I do, for the most part, put them in chronological order. For decoration's sake, I do have some Funko Pops. I did get this bookmark from A Stranger Dream. I will leave their shop down below. Um, they do really nice horror-themed bookmarks. I thought this one just fit really nicely with the Stephen King collection. But my other Funko Pops that I have are some members of the Losers Club, like Richie. We have Georgie, Bev, Ben, and of course Pennywise himself. Then we have some Funko Pops, Gabe, and Church from Pet Cemetery. So now that the decorations are gone, starting on the first shelf, we have Carrie, Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Stand. Um, I have never been able to find a secondhand copy with the actual dust jacket on. I have two different copies of The Stand, and they both are in pretty poor condition, so hopefully I will be updating this with one that actually has a dust jacket on it, but for now, that's my copy of the stand. The Dead Zone, one of my favorites. Cujo. It. Insomnia. I have this copy of Salem's Lot that doesn't have a dust jacket, and it's also like a special book club copy, and it's in absolutely excellent condition, so I'm just keeping it around. I also just really like like the bright red. I actually use this as like Halloween decoration just because it's nice and crisp and has that iconic Salem's Lot font. Nightmares and Dreamscapes, Needful Things, Bag of Bones, Everything's Eventual, and Dreamcatcher, a book that I haven't actually read, but I think it's one of the most stunning covers. Now, moving on to our second shelf, I have some more just assorted Halloween decorations here. So, um, I've got this little jackalope, I think it's called, from Target a couple years ago. This Raven's Claw in little sign I also got from Target, I think it's a dollar spot. A little vintage pumpkin that I really just found in a box of junk somewhere. So for the Funko Pops, I of course have the whole entire Torrance family. And Wendy was actually like my second Funko Pop that I ever bought, so she's a little special. Okay, now for the actual books on the second bookshelf. I do have um, The Institute sitting up here just because I'm running out of room on these shelves a little bit. Rose Matter, one of the first Stephen King books I ever read. Cell, Lissy's Story, another one that I haven't actually read but absolutely adore. Like the actual hard cover of this book is really beautiful. Hearts in Atlantis. Duma Key, another book that I think is really, really beautiful. 11, 22, 63. The Outsider, Under the Dome. Mr. Mercedes and Finder's Keepers. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest, I did read Mr. Mercedes. I really hated it, so I don't know if I am going to move on with the series, and I haven't found a good copy, a good secondhand copy of the third book in the series, so um, let me know if it gets better, because I really did not like Mr. Mercedes, um, but the completionist in me still wants to get the third book in the series so I can have them all. Gotta catch them all. Eyes of the Dragon, Gwendy's Button Box, Secret Windows, which is actually a really cool book. I think it used to be like a book of the month exclusive pick from way back in the day, but it has just a lot of essays on writing, some of his speeches he's done, and then some of his very first pieces of fiction. Some of them have been published before. I believe one of them was an exclusive for this collection. Dr. Sleep and Elevation. And there you have it. That is my Stephen King book collection for 2020. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite Stephen King book. I always love hearing people's answers on this question because he has such an extensive backlog that I feel like everyone kind of has a different sort of style of his books or like a little collection of his books that they like the best. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe for more content. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying happy, staying well, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!